Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video, still in Edinburgh. I'm actually still on Chamber Street. The National Museum is just right there. So I've just come out. But I'm going to be walking along to the end of the roads because at the end of the roads, I'll be able to show you where Grave Friars is, which is uh, the really famous graveyard. It's supposed to be really haunted. Hello. <laughs> and it's also where the Grave Friars Bobby statue is. Uh, that was just some random guy who was walking by there. Uh, but I thought I could show you the Greyfriars graveyard and Greyfriars Bobby statue. Again, it's a really famous location in Edinburgh. Uh, really popular. Uh, people actually do go and visit it despite the fact it's haunted. Uh, but oh, that's probably the reason why a lot of people go. So I'm just going to head along and get to the graveyard itself. And if you are enjoying my channel, if you are enjoying my videos, if you click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, the channel's TikTok account, and the PayPal account, and the description bar below, and then a comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I'm going to keep walking along and get to Gravefriars. So the Gravefriars graveyard is just up through that gap of the buildings right there. There's a, a gate and we've got the Greyfriars Bobby Pub and the Greyfriars Bobby statue is right there. And I know people touch his nose because they think it's good luck, but don't be like that silly, those silly people there because they're not supposed to touch it because it's actually destroying the statue. So if you do come and see it, leave the statue alone. They want to try and protect it. One of the things I do love about Edinburgh is you do get these wee idyllic streets. So, where we are is in Candle, Candlemaker Row. This is the Greyfriars Bobby pub. So, there's a wee bit of history about Greyfriars Bobby. So Greyfriars itself is actually a Church of Scotland church. So it is still in use. And they've actually got a wee grave site for the puppy himself. And people obviously come in here to to leave sticks for the dog. And that's Greyfriars Kirk right there. I'm not sure if I can get into the Kirk itself. I don't know if maybe there's a door up here. If I can, I'll go and have a wee nosy. But at least have a little wander around the graveyard. Yeah, as well as this site having a connection to Greyfriars Bobby. Uh, probably the two of the most famous things that the graveyard is known for is uh, the Covenanters Prison. Which were it was just where uh, some Covenanted prisoners were kept uh, in an enclosed area that didn't have any roof. They were left exposed to the elements, and they were just left there to to die essentially. And right next to that is uh, Mackenzie's mausoleum, which is said to be haunted by the Mackenzie poltergeist. So the graveyard is said to be haunted by both the Mackenzie Poltergeist and by the Covenanter 
a Covenanter who died in the Covenanter's prison. So, very dark aspect of the history of the graveyard itself. And there have apparently been times when people have actually been attacked or said to be attacked by the Mackenzie Poltergeist. And that's part of the reason why people do come, come here to visit. Because again, they hear the ghost stories and they want to come and see for themselves where the ghost stories are said to take place. So, again, when you think about it, or you look at the surroundings, and you can very much see that it is a location that very much does keep in with the whole idea of being a haunted graveyard. Right, so what's in front of me here is the Flodden Wall. So this is uh, one of, I think, probably the only, or one of the few remaining sections of the Flodden Wall, which would have encircled parts of the city of Edinburgh. And it would have gone up to where the World's End pub is now. And okay, it's no longer surviving up there, but down here it is. And you can just see the castle beyond the wall there. I'm trying to see if I can get a clearer view of the castle later on. I don't know if maybe that's the Covenanter prison over there. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Harriet Watts. Uh, it's a private school. It's just beyond the the bounds of the, the kirkyard. Very posh, very prestigious, very expensive. Clear shot of the kirk itself. Yeah, so just beyond that gate is what is called the Covenanters' prison. And that's where the Covenanters were were kept and were left to die from exposure, essentially. And that's part of what I mean, causes the, the hauntings in this area. So the information board here. Go over and have a wee look at it. I didn't quite make it out. So they were expected to live on four ounces of bread a day, which isn't very much at all. So the, the 275 that were remaining, taking a leaf and sent over to the American colonies. And a lot of them died in here before they could be found guilty of anything. And this mausoleum here is the Mackenzie Mausoleum. So this is the one that's associated with the Mackenzie poltergeist. So I think, if I remember my history correct, he's one of the ones who was keeping the Covenanters prison. And now he has ended up getting buried close to the prison. Yeah, if you come to Greyfriars, you'll see some of the graves have all oh, this ironwork on top of them. And I know some people have tried to claim that oh yeah, I was trying to stop the, the young dead from rising up. It was to stop from like whoever was in the grave from becoming a vampire and going, no. It was to stop the living from getting the dead. Because these were actually put in place because of the body snatchers. People like Burke and Hare, who were digging up freshly deceased and freshly buried bodies in order to sell them to the university. Yeah, I've just noticed that there's this wee uh, memorial hidden away just at the entrance. It's for those who are killed in the Bohal uh, gas disaster in 1984. It's, it's probably something that a lot of people don't even know about. It's 
what happened. It's like thousands of people died. It's like I didn't even know about it until I read a friend's novel, which starts during that disaster. Well, that's me finished my little visit to Greyfriars. Definitely an interesting place to go visit and explore. Um, definitely, does, I, I love people probably even walk by it and not realise that that's where it actually is. But there are others who do realise and go in and have a wander because there's quite a few people in while I was there who have a good, good, good look and a good explore. So definitely somewhere to stop and have a little visit of. And I have noticed that some of the bus tours do actually drive by uh, on the road itself, so you could probably get dropped off, visit uh, Greyfriars and then get back on the bus later on. So hopefully you'll have found this video interesting, hopefully you've found uh, what I showed you intriguing, and if you are in Edinburgh, come down and visit Greyfriars and have a wee wander, we explore. So I'm going to sign off just now, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.